Good evening. My name is Tom. I come to you from Northern Maine. Welcome to the inside of my cabin. Well, it's been raining all day long. I, well, started last night at 5 o'clock. I got into the cabin just ahead of the rain, climbed out of my uh, stand, got back here at the cabin, and just about the time I did, the skies opened up, and it's been raining almost nonstop. Pouring at times. We got, I guess, three inches of rain overnight. And they're calling for another couple inches today. But the reason I'm going to do this video today, is, uh, this evening, is I'm getting ready to make a meatloaf uh, here at the cabin. Uh, my meatloaf is probably a little different, <laughs> as you can imagine. <laughs> About everything I do is outside of the box. Well, my meatloaf is uh, not any different. But I cannot imagine anybody sitting down and trying my meatloaf and not liking it. <laughs> so, there's a couple of different ingredients in there that uh, those of you that do know how to cook uh, might shake your head at. I don't know. But I cook for my taste buds. And if my taste buds like it as an individual ingredient, and a lot of times it makes it into my main dishes. Well, my meatloaf is no different. <laughs> so, I'm going to try. Uh, I haven't done too awful much uh, videotaping inside of the cabin until just recently. Trying to get my lighting under control and all of that. This is an off-grid cabin. So, uh, my, my, I do have a solar grid. But I've been here 18 days and I've only seen the sun uh, two days. So my batteries are charged. I've did, they're not quite fully charged, but they're, they're charged. Uh, I was at 11, 11.9, and it goes up to 12.4. So I'm, I'm almost there, but I haven't been using solar power uh, this entire trip because it will kill my batteries, bring them down to 50%, and I don't want them to freeze and have problems with that this time of year. So I've been using propane lights and all of that, which you can see behind me. But my kitchen area is lit up fairly decent. So where I'm going to prepare the meatloaf, uh, I think I can get enough light on it that that uh, you, you'll like you'll like the setup. So anyways, come along for my meatloaf if you're interested. <laughs> I'll just start out here at the beginning, just giving you the recipe. But you're going to need a big pot. I mean, big mixing pan because this recipe takes up some space and I put it in a couple of these glass bread things and I, I cook everything here in a Coleman oven on top of the gas stove but you want to start out with is uh, and, and like I said I, I build this to my taste bud so I have a basic recipe that I start out with I start out with uh, two pounds of moose burger two eggs one medium sized onion and one medium sized pepper. I really like having that stuff in there. And on today, uh, I'm going to throw in, I want a, a meatloaf with a little bit of kick, so I'm going to throw in some of these jalapeno hot peppers. That'll give her a little bit of bite. And then I have a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and one half cup of breadcrumbs, one quarter cup of milk, one half a cup of ketchup and one quarter cup water and two tablespoons or <laughs> I like to say two heaping handfuls of that shredded cheese and I'll throw that in and mix it in so then you have that cheese all through your meatloaf I'll have them hot peppers all through the meatloaf so and then you bake all this in a Coleman camp oven right on top of the wood stove at 350 degrees for one hour and I'm, because it was Thanksgiving, I've got some sweet potatoes up here. So beside the uh, pans in there, I'm going to slide in a, a nice big sweet potato to go on the side of this. So that's my moose uh, recipe. And uh, I'll, I'll bring you in on putting it together and all that a little bit. But I won't, I won't keep you around for the boring stuff. But I will show you the end product. <laughs> Yeah, 
Here's a half a cup of breadcrumbs, but you don't have to be uh, too fussy. I rarely measure anything. Nope, still good. Now, I've been here 18 days. You gotta smell stuff like that. <laughs> you never know. A couple of eggs. Mozzarella cheese. You can use uh, shredded cheese, anything. This just happens to be what I've got here. Everything that I cook has to be what I have in stock. So tonight, this is what we got in stock. So we're gonna give it plenty. Because I like cheese. Throw in some peppers. And I don't I don't get things really small because I like to be able to find them in my meal. This is camp cooking. Now you see why I got out two dishes. Because when you put in a whole onion and a whole pepper, it really takes up some space. I'm going to mix this up by hand, and I'm going to shut you guys off for a minute, because my hands will be very messy, and I won't be able to tend to the camera. That's all there is to it. Now we just gotta stir all that together. Well, I changed my mind. I figure I'll bring you guys along for the mess as well. <laughs> There's nothing gentle about making a moose meatloaf. What you want to do is get everything stirred up good. All your spice. Oh, I forgot to throw in the salt and pepper. I will be right back. to throw in some hot peppers too. One, two, three, there's quite a few in there. Good to go. You're just going to knead this stuff over. Now see, does that look like any? I don't know if you could see, but see the peppers and the onions? to 
be able to find my veggies in there. There. Well, I'm going to reach over here and get a towel. You put the ketchup on when you're done. Now all I'm going to do here, spread that out between the two so that they both become full dishes. Don't that look good? Mm -mm. I love peppers and onions. Anyways, so you really can't get too many in here for me. Yeah. That look good. Mm -mm -mm. That way I'll make sure I got some of these all the way through that. Oh, I, I cook this tonight and I'll be able to eat for two or three nights. Secret ingredient. There you go. And there's my cook oven. I will bring that up to 350 degrees. When this is finished, I will put a healthy layer of mozzarella cheese all over the top. So that's going to be a nice layer of ketchup, a nice layer of melted cheese, and the cheese that's mixed down into it. That's going to make an awesome meatloaf for me to eat for I would say at least the next three days and how I'll be warming it up is either putting it back in the little Coleman oven or uh, take out what I want, wrap it up in tin foil and set it on top of the wood stove. And then within 30 minutes it'll be piping hot, not burned. Sometimes I even throw it in the wood stove right on top of the coals. Same deal there. Uh, just heats it up faster. So for all you guys that like my cooking, this right here is one of my favorites.
this has been in the oven for uh, 45 minutes at 350 degrees and it is done so now we're just going to melt on the rest of that cheese yummy 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 well there's my woodsman meatloaf that's my supper tonight and I got I went with french fries instead of sweet potatoes when my meatloaf got to be in two pans there wasn't room enough in the oven for a baked potato so I voted and I, I won so well I decided that we're gonna have french fries tonight <laughs> the dog really doesn't get a vote as you can see my supper is all cooked <laughs> I don't know if you can smell it but I, I, I can <laughs> The, uh, the peppers in that meatloaf are really, really smelling good. I will put a little bit more pepper on top because I'm a pepper lover. Did you see how good that cheese looked? <laughs> well, I'm going to enjoy this meal. I hope all of you enjoyed being a part of putting together my supper tonight here at the cabin. That's some good. <laughs> that is some good. You can use any kind of beef. This is moose meat, but you can use you can use hamburger, you can use deer hamburger. You can grind up anything. Bear meat. And that melted cheese on there with that ketchup is really, really good. Mm. What I like about leaving the peppers uh, fairly big, the green pepper, is it doesn't get m mushy. You know, it takes a little bit longer to cook a green pepper when you know when it's good sized chunks like that but what it does is it, it cooks the pepper but it leaves the pepper with still just a little bit of crunch to it you know it's, you know a little bit of body you know it's not hard like biting into a pepper but there, but you know you're eating a pepper uh, and that's that's why I leave the peppers like that a little bit on the big side but mm. A whole lot of flavor in there. Well, thank you for joining me for supper. If you enjoyed this uh, video tonight, throw me a bone. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Uh, hit the notification button. Real important to hit the like button. That really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. So I will see you in the next one. And I'm looking forward to meeting you if you're new to the channel. So leave me a comment and let me know what you're doing. And you have a great night.